Welcome to our This is the class about coal and its formation. Simply how the coal was formed that we are using now and what's the interesting fact about the formation of the coal. Before the discussion about main part of this video that is the formation let's have some general information about the coal. Very general information. That makes sense to us to move forward to learn the formation. Okay. The first thing I want I would like to give is coal is a fossil fuel. Coal is a fossil fuel. What it means? You know something. Fossil means some it is a remains of remains of living things. Living beings or living things. Anything. Okay. correct. Remains of living beings which once lived on the earth before in the past in the past in, uh, in a millions of years ago that uh, the thing uh, the living things were lived that time that time they were converted into a coal i will tell you in detail just a minute in a, within a minute just understand here what is fossil fossil means their remains remains means what the leftover of living beings are living things okay. living things okay this is fine then uh, if this is so the definition is like this what why we call coal is a fossil fuel because coal is the remains of living things what is that living thing particularly plant broadly i can say forest because not because not single plant gives a coal that much plenty of coal layers that we are getting now it is it is um, precisely the forest a huge amount of forest wealth that is that that is becoming that was become a coal now and the second point is users where we are using this presently we are using this in thermal power plants thermal power plants why to generate thermal power plants to generate electricity to generate electricity electricity using uh, using coal is a different uh, a different discussion but i can tell you with a short very uh, in a short that uh, we burn the coal we burn the coal and uh, the water over it water over the coal uh, eats up and turn into vapors and this vapor used to run the turbine and uh, running turbine means generation of electricity this is a simple way of uh, producing the electricity electricity using the coal then where else we are using uh, this coal like uh, extraction of like in extraction of iron iron ore iron and uh, graphite graphite making and so many other carbon products uh, we are using uh, the source for all those things uh, is coal let's now discuss about the formation of the coal we know already coal is a fossil fuel fossil fuel means it is the remains of something what is the what the coal is remains of it is a remains of plant it is the remains of a plant obviously it is not a single plant right it is the huge forest huge forest that turned into a, that converted into a coal that we are getting now huge forest how this forest the question here is how this forest was converted into a coal the black colored coal so we know we uh, we we are all know how the forest see uh, how the forest was see how oh, it seemed to us it is it is a lush green right but the coal we are getting we are seeing is black fully black dark how that how that green turned into a, turned into a black that's the interesting question we need to answer see it's it's actually the coal was coal formation was begun from a million years ago that was a period called carboniferous period it is not essential to remember carboniferous period means of what we need to understand here the formation of the coal is uh, was not a, a short uh, was not a uh, uh, hundred years back was not from a hundred years back it was a million years back 
from then it was started to it was started the forest turning into a turning into a coal okay how how that process has happened okay let's let's explore that answer okay. just imagine now there is a huge forest when during this period carboniferous period million years ago million years ago huge forest is there understand imagine huge forest okay huge forest it's because of some natural calamities natural disasters like floods like quakes like uh, what else landslides because of those things this forest goes under the sun because uh, let's uh, imagine because of the flood huge flood that keeps loading the soil over it soil soil particles over it what happens next okay. the forest goes under the soil layers now i can write like this this is the forest now the soil gets deposited over the forest over the forest over the forest see imagine the million year from million years ago it has started you need to keep this one because of the soil because of the soil it is not a, a single layer it is a huge load of soil that is over the forest okay that is over the forest now what happens now because of the soil huge load load of soil because of huge load of soil the pressure has developed over it the forest forest now the forest is completely vanished it just a plant debris plant debris mean timber logs leaves those things okay it is not a, for, a live forest now it is already dead because it is under the soil okay because of the soil load the pressure has developed over the over the remains plant debris over the remains remains you know fossil plant remains what happened next because of this huge pressure has developed pressure has develop and also temperature because of the pressure increase temperature also increase what happens next can this burn can this burn no not at all why because of the absence of oxygen absence of absence of oxygen why oxygen was absent that time see it is under the sun it is under the soil the plant debris can we found the oxygen under the soil not at all impossible where we found where we find the oxygen in the atmosphere where we are where we are uh, breathing now okay because of the oxygen absence of oxygen this plant debris this plant material plant remains under the high pressure under the high temperature turned into a coal what we are getting now what we are using now, what we are consuming now for our needs this is the mechanism that was happened that was happened and converted this plant remains plant debris into a into a coal this is the formation formation of i hope this is clear to you and one more thing at the last i need to add i want to hand here the absence of oxygen why it why it was so essential to form the form uh, so essential in the formation of the uh, coal let's imagine just what would happen if the oxygen was present there in that condition that pressure and temperature high pressure and uh, temperature condition what would happen to this plant remain these plant remains if the oxygen was present what would happen see oxygen means the burning anything that burn anything that burn uh, what we are seeing now what we are uh, uh, every day see it is because of the presence of oxygen it means what i am trying to say the presence of oxygen would have turned this plant remains into a ash into a ash everything would have burned burned we don't get, we don't get this coal by the way Okay this is all about the formation of the coal